Near the end of July, I joined my son Walker on one of his work trips, this time in Montana, a state I had never visited. He certifies producers for Thousand Hills Lifetime Grazed Cattle Company, and he was visiting their four producers in central Montana. This day, I tagged along with him and his intern for the summer, Sean Varelli, as they roped off a section of the range to take soil and grass samples to determine how the range is regenerating from the grazing of cattle. The wind obliterated my microphone, so interviews were impossible. A cow's tongue wraps around grass and tears it off, rather than biting it with their teeth. I read on Apricot Lane Farm's Instagram that a cow has more bacteria in its fourth stomach, called the rumen, also called the fermentation vat, than there are humans on Earth. When the fermentation process is complete and the grass returns to the pasture in the form of dung, the pasture is infused with all the microbes and bacteria from the cow's stomach. When the cows move on to the next section of grass, they leave the soil a little healthier and full of life than when they entered. A cow's complex digestive system makes cows one of three organisms on Earth that give back more nutrients than they extract, along with bees and worms. This section of range was once a landing strip for small planes, so they are studying how quickly the land is regenerating. They will take GPS readings and be able to return to this section to determine the health of the ecosystem. Elevation here is five to 6,000 feet and dry. In fact, the soil was so dry, they were not able to sink their instrument in it to do an infiltration test. Infiltration is the absorption of rain into soil. How quickly that happens will determine soil loss. Runoff from extreme weather events takes an enormous amount of soil with it. So the more quickly a grassland or farm can absorb rainfall, the less soil loss. Since we are losing soil faster on this planet than it can be made, it is of utmost importance to build soil that can absorb water. This prairie was mostly alfalfa, purple and white. They do have rattlesnakes out here and bears up in the hills, so you have to exercise caution.
On our trip back, Walker stopped to let me identify other grasses. And what is this? Crested wheat and smooth brome. And over here we have intermediate wheat. Then we stopped by the ranch headquarters and got to pet oh, the friendly ranch will you dogs. Will you go home to LA with me? Will you be my dog? Will you be my favorite dog? Hi, come here, come here. Is that your brother over there? Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> Hi there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A mom with a swollen teat was quarantined with her calves, hey, which were being bottle fed. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. We headed back into Bozeman, where there are lots of farm to table restaurants and hip cafes, gardens, and art. I had to stop into 90-year-old Western Cafe for their best in the West chicken fried steak. But I had to walk the two miles back to the hotel after this breakfast. I got a swim in at my hotel, the Holiday Inn, which boasts the largest pool in Bozeman, before heading to the most scenic airport I've passed through. Beautiful Montana. I do hope to be back. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.